Paraceratherium may look totally alien at first, but look again. You'll notice the resemblance to its modern relative, the rhinoceros. Although it lacks the large horns of keratin we expect from rhinos, the face of Paraceratherium still shares many features with them. Particularly noteworthy is that triangular upper lip. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, I will be going through the new Paraceratherium species in Prehistoric Kingdom. Now, this is my first video on Prehistoric Kingdom, and why not do it when there's a new species out? And I'm sorry, I'm a bit late covering this. I was a bit busy when it came out. But first of all, let's go through it in the genetics lab. So this is the stippled skin variant. The female and male are pretty similar. It, I love the design of it. It just looks so realistic. This game is just so cool in that factor. And um, I like how you can view it in the genetics lab rather than just you have to spawn it to see it but as you can see that's how big it is compared to a human and as we go down i think they get smaller because they're different variants i guess then this is the lens lensicle i probably mispronounced that but this one's a more darkish brown yeah, darkish browny black kind of colour. And it's a, a bit smaller, as you can see the human gets a bit bigger. And yeah, I like this one. I think it really... I think this one would work in the desert kind of map. I forgot what that one's called. The desert map. And then this one, maybe the wetlands and I don't know. Or it could stand out in the desert. But then this one is more, even more smaller. It's head of the human just about reaches its face and yeah I don't know how prehistoric kingdom works but like yeah I guess that is how it is there's different variants and they get smaller for the skins anyways uh, but let's get on to actually looking at one Paraceratherium may look totally alien at first but look again You'll notice the resemblance to its Negative. modern relative, the rhinoceros. Although it lacks the large horns of keratin we expect from rhinos, the face of Paraceratherium still shares many features with them. Particularly noteworthy is that triangular upper lip, <laughs> a prehensile structure that helps them manipulate their food. Ooh, I kind of want to see the social animation. Is there so I don't know, is there social animation? There's a lip animation. I want to see the eating one. Eating one, here we go. Come on. You're going to eat. Oh, can I? Camera mode. I don't actually know how to take this off, and I haven't figured that out yet. But... We can look at him. Let's see. It opens its mouth. Oh, no, are you not going to eat then? Oh, so it opens its mouth and then kind of wraps its tongue around the food. That's cool. Okay. Oh, it's going to do a little rollover. This is so cool. It's like grazing in the grass. That's cool. So majestic. Like I like how prehistoric kingdom, it's not even just dinosaurs. It's just prehistoric creatures that we wouldn't get to see in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Also in this update they have added donation boxes, new rock stylings that adds moss, sand, snow and substrate options and mangroves to expand your wetland foliage with a selection of three new mangrove trees. So they added donation boxes in this update which was pretty cool. So they can just, oh you can, is that, oh. I haven't actually built a park and then actually tried to make money off of it, but you know, 
I guess this is an alternate version of Inca. I think they added like foliage onto it and styling so they can be green. They can be green, it's like a foresty one, orange for desert, even more orange, almost sandy kind of for sandy desert. And then snowy, when it's snowing. Does it snow in this game? But yeah, that's kind of the different styles that they've added. Do these have? Oh. I don't know if it's for all of these, but uh, that's cool. I'm not actually sure if this is a part of the update, but it's cool that you can kind of have different, like you can match the surroundings, it doesn't just lock. Wait, I can select multiple. Let me turn off. How did I select both? I think that is it for the update, but if you want me to go through all the species in this game, and maybe post some shorts and the animations and stuff that's in the game. I can do that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be a Jurassic World Evolution 2 update video, which is exciting. Bye-bye! <laughs>